Hello all. Welcome to the tutorial. Unity Game Engine can be used to build applications for various platforms. Today we are going to discuss on what all needs to be done to export to Android platform. Unity before it starts the building of APK or AAB file needs to be specified what all scenes are used in the program. As part of this step we open build settings from file and then build settings. Drag and drop all the used scenes in the project to scenes in build panel. Switch the platform to Android if you already are not in Android. Click on switch platform button which will be visible if your current platform is not Android. In case you already are as in my case too you would see the build button to start the build process. But before that we need to define everything about our Android project by clicking on player settings. Click on player on the left pane which will show all the information Unity needs to know for Android export. Give your company name, product name and the version for Android export. In section settings for Android under resolution and presentation provide the information as per your need. In this case I left everything to default except default orientation which will implement the portrait or landscape mode depending on what you choose for your mobile application. To define static splash image which appears when you launch your application on mobile select the static splash image. Under other settings I left most of it to default. In identification provide the name of your package. This name uniquely identifies your application when you have published your application to Play Store. Provide the current version number for your project. Every time you make changes to your project the version number needs to be increment from the previous otherwise your final Android file will not be uploaded to Play Store. If it's the first time set it to 1.0.0. Similarly bundled version code needs to be increment 2 with any updates you want for your project. Bundle 5 with the same previous bundle version number will not be uploaded to Play Store. Provide the minimum API level and target API level for your project. In configuration set scripting backend to IL2CPP and API compatibility to .NET Standard 2.0. In target architecture enable ARM v7 and ARM64. In publishing settings create a keystore using keystore manager if you have not created one. The Android keystore system lets you store cryptographic keys in a container to make it more difficult to extract from the device. Once keys are in the keystore, they can be used for cryptographic operations with the key material remaining non-exportable. Moreover, it offers facilities to restrict when and how keys can be used, such as requiring user authentication for key use or restricting keys to be used only in certain cryptographic modes. If you have already created a keystore navigate to the path where keystore file is saved and provide the keystore password for your project. If password is not provided the build process will fail. Close the project settings. Decide on whether you would like to create an APK file or the app bundle which is an AAB file. Check the build app bundle Google Play if you want to upload an AAB file. If left unchecked an APK file will be created instead. Leave rest of the settings to its default value. Finally click on build and navigate to the path where you would like the APK or app bundle file to be saved. Click on save to start the build process, which will take few minutes. Once created you are ready to upload the generated file to Play Store. If you like my videos please like it and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.